Symbol Windows has a plethora of symbols at your disposal for use in your programs. Some of the most fundamental of which are the AND gate, the OR gate, and the NOT gate. This video focuses on the use of the OR gate. An OR symbol can be added to your program in many different ways. The first is to click on the Logic folder under the Program view, type in the word OR, and hit Enter. This automatically populates the Logic folder with an OR symbol. Alternatively, you could expand the Logic symbols under the Symbol Library, expand Conditional, find the OR gate, and click and drag it over to the Detail view. Notice that this automatically dumps the OR symbol under the Logic folder. An OR symbol can take one or more digital inputs. And the way that the OR works is that it looks at all of the digital inputs coming into it, and if any one of those inputs is true, the OR will put a true on its output line. So let's make a quick test circuit. I'm going to use two toggles to drive the inputs of this OR button, and I'm going to use an X panel that I've already put in here to drive the inputs of the toggles. And I'm going to expand the OR so that I have two inputs. And I'm going to take the output of the OR and put it on one of the inputs of the X panel. You'll also notice that I'm taking the outputs of the toggles and feeding them back into the X panel. And the reason that I'm using toggles in this instance is because X panels don't allow you to click two buttons at once. Now with everything in place, let's compile and upload to our processor. With our program uploaded and running, we can now examine how the OR symbol works. As we stated before, if any of the inputs feeding into the OR is on, the OR automatically turns on. And it doesn't matter whether I have one or both inputs turned on, any input turning on turns the OR on. And this carries over to the multi-input case as well. If I have any of these inputs turned on, the OR stays on, and it doesn't matter what combination of them are on, as long as one is on, the OR stays on. But notice that once I turn all of the inputs off, the OR switches back to off. An OR symbol can be useful in your program if you want one thing to be triggered by any combination of other things. For instance, if you were programming a house that had a light switch in every room, and you wanted those light switches to turn on every single light in the house, no matter which one was pressed, an OR could do that for you. I'm not exactly sure why you'd want to do that, but there you go, you could do it. 